Well, someone mentions a library and most people automatically think of a quiet place, no socializing, no real excitement. But at the library in downtown Ann Arbor, there's something very exciting happening this weekend and it's free. We are joined by Sherlanya Turner and Valerie Subchak and they are here on behalf of our friends at the Ann Arbor District Library. Uh, so tell us about the event. Oh, well, we've got the Ann Arbor Creativity and Making Expo. We're calling it Acme with two A's. And it's an independent creativity and, and making celebration. We've got lots of really cool independent makers in the Ann Arbor and Detroit area, and we'd like to show them off. It's uh, Sunday from 12 to 5 at the Downtown Library. Okay, so let's table the bananas for right now because I know we need, <laughs> to, to, uh, we need to get this laptop connected to the Internet guys in the control room. Um, let's move on to what we're trying to make sense of what this is right here. Tell them about it. I'll so, play it. These are our automatones. They are cool musical tools. They look kind of like this smiling guy. And they, <laughs> <laughs> they play super cool synthetic music. And you can even check them out with your library card. All right. <laughs> How does one get a library card? <laughs> How do we get a library card? Just come in and sign up? If you're an Ann Arbor resident, uh, you just come in and sign up. If you're outside the district and so moved, you can just um, sign up with our non-resident fee. All right. Uh, is this a sewing machine? This is a sewing machine. Think about what you would have said if we brought the telescope. We have all sorts of um, special tools like sewing machines, telescopes, metal detectors, die cutters, spinning wheels, yarn winders. Yarn winders. Yeah. Yeah. Woo boy, I'm going to tell you, we got a yarn winder at the library. Wait till you see it. Mr. Douglas. Uh, okay, so you can obviously do what? Are there classes? Do you check this out? If it's overdue, do you? Well, All of that. All of we that. have um, sewing lab, which you can come in and um, sew at the library. Uh, we also circulate these, and this one's the super fancy one that even you can program. So we have um, this sample here that says a few things like Acme um, at AADL and Live in the D. We did that just before we came here because we wanted you to see what this machine could do. Hold that one, one more time. We were getting a close up of it. Uh, live in the D. <laughs> All right. I remember the last time that I sewed, it's been a long time. It was eighth grade home ec class that we were mandatory to take. That. Oh, there you go. And a printing press? Come on down oh, here. Oh, yeah. So one of our super cool activities that we love to do at the library is our letterpress lab. Those okay. are every Wednesday night at the library, and they're totally free. Even if you don't have a library card, you can just come on in and print with us. So we've got um, a delightful lockup here, which you can see, to celebrate our time on Live in the D. We printed a few earlier, and if you like, you're welcome to come print with one with us now. Would you want to try it out? Sure, why not? What am I going to say? Right. No? <laughs> so we've got some ink on the press, but I'm going to put just a little extra ink, make sure that the print is nice and pretty. So this is an, a really old press. It's from about um, the 1950s. Uh, oh, God, that's really old to me. And um, they uh, were used in a store like a Ben Franklin or a Kmart or something like that. where they Again, would use really these. old like me. Sorry. Right. <laughs> They'd the use paper. these to print um, small um, price tags or sale flyers. So you go ahead and put your paper right on there. Okay. And then I hope you had your vegetables this morning. Go ahead and pull it all the way across. All right, here we go. All right. And I'll lift it up. All right, we'll see what happens. There we go. Oh, how about that? <laughs> all right, did we get connected to the internet down there, Ron? Let's Thumbs give it a try. Let's see. All right. All right. Play, Let's see what these bananas can do. It's not making the sound. Oh, boy. So the cool thing about this, it, when it works, is that you can connect it to your computer and it'll use it just like a, a computer controller. It'll map the keys from your computer to the keys on this Makey Makey. And in this case, we're using bananas because I don't know if you know this, but bananas conduct electricity really well. Um, you could is also it the use potassium. I don't know. It is the potassium. Oh, yes. look at that! I nice must have job. been paying attention to you something. Can also, <laughs> yeah, you can also use things like um, pennies, metal, aluminum foil, uh, graphite from pencils. If you draw a picture and wanted mm -hmm. to electrify it, you could do that too. Uh, one super cool setup that we have is a banana piano, where each banana represents the key on a piano. All right, anything else uh, you want the folks to know? An admission charge, uh, anything else? Agni is completely free. It's awesome for families, for people who enjoy getting creative. Um, there'll be hands-on activities. We'll have uh, people demonstrating some of their super cool projects from around the, from around the area. Tell and you what, 
uh, before you guys skedaddle out of here, we've got 35 minutes left in this show. I think that we could probably get the bananas working sometime oh, yeah. in the next year. Okay. Yeah. Uh, in the interim, to learn more about what there is to see and do at the Creativity and Making Expo this Sunday, visit the website aadl.org slash acme with two A's. Got that? There will be a quiz later.